Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Sylvia Da Silva and I am an artist. In today's video, I am going to tell you about my favorite acrylic painting supplies. Remember, these are not essentials but these are my absolute favorites and I can't do without them. Well, let's get started. So the first acrylic painting supply is Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paints, no doubt. These are the best, the pigment is great and each color is the same price so you don't have to worry about which series is going to be more expensive and which is going to be uh, affordable and so on. You can just, uh, the price is the same across all colors and they are great, you can uh, use it professionally. My second favorite is De La Ronnie Acrylic Inks. These have great pigment. It's even though it's just in a liquid ink form, they work really great when you use it in combination with your acrylic painting supplies. I use them with my Liquitex Basics paints and they work very well for me. I love the colors that they have and uh, the Liquitex inks are also great but I somehow prefer the De La Ronnie acrylic inks. My next favorite acrylic painting supply is an airbrush. I couldn't do a lot of effects without an airbrush. I use an airbrush to create so many different effects like fog or uh, like mist if I want to create smoke and uh, when I painted dandelions I wanted to create depth so I use the airbrush to spray around the dandelions and it really gave a cool effect so airbrush is something that is a must for me in my supplies and it works really well Now that I've told about airbrush, what comes next is airbrush paints. I use Createx airbrush paints. I just have a set of opaque colors, uh, a set of six. When I need a different color, I just use the Liquitex basics. I dilute them and uh, make them to a consistency uh, that is uh, good enough for the airbrush and use it that way. But the Createx airbrush paints, especially the opaque ones are really great. The next absolute essential and favorite is a palette. I use the Magello Atelier Palo. Okay, I need to repeat that. I use Magello Atelier Peel Off Airtight Paint Palette. Yes, it's a long name. Uh, it's a great palette. It's very useful, especially because I take a lot of breaks and the paint remains just as fresh when you come back to it because it's airtight and i also have a video about palettes you can check that out i'll have the link or a card pop up so you can see the different kinds of palettes that i have used in the past my next favorite acrylic painting supply is a spray bottle i could not paint an acrylic paint without a spray bottle it is an absolute essential and it makes sure the paint remains wet and I, uh, I don't like dry brushing so a spray bottle is, is an absolute essential for acrylic painting and it is my favorite I use local spray bottles that are available in the art supply store they are just about 40 to 50 rupees each and I have a couple um, actually I have about four of them and I use them sometimes with paint inside it, diluted uh, to create airbrush effects but I haven't done that in a long time because I have an airbrush. So a spray bottle is a must and one of my favorite acrylic painting supplies. Make sure you buy one that sprays in a mist and not just splatters onto the canvas and destroys whatever you've painted. So look for that when you're buying a spray bottle. favorite acrylic painting supply is stretched canvas I always use stretched canvas I don't use canvas board sometimes I use paper but then stretched canvas is my absolute favorite uh, surface to paint on 
Well, in India, most of the stretched canvas that's machine stretched is manufactured in Indore, and uh, these are then marketed with different labels and uh, sold as part of different brands. But all you need to look for is a machine stretched canvas, uh, and that is all you need. You can go for any any good brand. You can just look for it in the art supply store. Watch out for clean edges, clean corners, uh, neatly folded ones and good staples at the back. I have been using the ones by Fine Art and by Camel and they are really great. Uh, I get a discount when I buy it in bulk. Stretch canvas is definitely the way to go. Next comes paint brushes. Well, for acrylic paints, my favorite paint brushes are the wash brushes and the filbert. I use the filbert for almost anything. People who have watched my videos know that I use the filbert brush the most. It's the most comfortable one to use. And the wash brushes is a definite must for acrylic painting, especially when you're using, uh, when you're working on larger surfaces because it as you know acrylic paints dry really fast and working on a large surface wash brushes just get the paint onto it so easily wash brushes and filbert brushes i do have a video about the different kinds of paint brushes so you can check that out i'll have a card pop up and i'll have a link in the description below the next essential I'm saying essential and also a favorite I use a wash tub I use a wash tub with ridges at the bottom and that is really great to scrape off any extra acrylic paint that is still left over onto the brush so a wash tub is a must you could also use a plain uh, plastic container to wash off your paint brushes but I prefer a wash tub that has ridges at the bottom so I can easily scrape off the acrylic Paint. I don't know which one I have. I um, I just bought it from a local art supply store. Just go and check it out, and you will know. Uh, don't buy something really expensive. Look, just look for something that's affordable. All right, next favorite supply coming to acrylic pouring. Liquitex pouring medium is my favorite. I've used pouring mediums by different brands, but Liquitex remains my favorite, uh, mainly because there are no air bubbles left when you're done with your pouring. And that is the only reason and the gloss effect that it gives at the end. Well, mostly it's just the air bubbles that makes it my favorite there are no air bubbles left when you use liquitex pouring medium i do have videos you can check it out well the next supply that is my favorite is something that defined me for making textured flower paintings i've made a lot of them and a lot of people used to ask me how i made them so texture white by camel is the medium that i use to mix with paint so as to create thick te textures and i've used them to make my flower paintings my textured flower paintings to create uh, thick textures in my acrylic paints uh, just remember it's good when it's used only with the white but um, yeah i've mostly used it with white it just lightens the pigment the color of whatever paint you mix it with that's the only drawback but since i work mostly with white when i'm making textures uh, that is my absolute favorite it's very reasonable and easily available in any any art supply store in india well my next favorite art supply has to be varnish i use gloss varnish by liquitex again and that is it gives a great finish it gives a glossy look it almost looks like oil painting and it is perfect i didn't go looking for any other varnish that's the first one i used and it is my favorite the liquitex matte varnish is also great so you can go for either uh, the gloss varnish is definitely my favorite 
Well, coming to the last favorite acrylic painting supply, this is something I recently discovered. It's called a flow improver. While you use it in place of water, a flow improver is uh, something that extends your paint and keeps it uh, wet a little bit longer and uh, it's great for blending techniques and I have been using it very effectively to create blended effects and I'm using Flow Improver by Winston Newton. It's a little expensive. I just got it as a gift and I'm using it. It's working really fine. I will mention all of the 13 acrylic painting favorite supplies in the description so you can go and take a look. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week.